Hi everyone, Rich Crescenti here with another in our series of videos making music with Melodyne. And today what we're going to be focusing on is whether or not to upgrade. This is an idea that happens upon a lot of people's minds. They wonder whether or not they should upgrade. And today specifically what we're going to be focusing on is whether or not you should think about upgrading from Essential to Assistant. We have a lot of new users out there with Essential, as now it comes bundled with Pro Tools, and many of them wonder should I be upgrading to one of the higher levels, like Assistant? Now, if Essential is meeting all of your needs, then there's no reason to upgrade it. You've got it covered. It's doing what you need it to do. But if you feel like you want some finer control over vocals and, and some more ability to tune and change these vocals the way that you want them to, you might want to take a look at Assistant. So let's dive into what Assistant offers you and all the wonderful tools that it gives you. And tools is the keyword right here. Let's take a look. I've got this uh, instantiation of Melodyne on my lead vocal. And right out of the gate across the top, we can see that there's a lot more tools available to us here. Now, Essential has some basic pitch and timing correction tools, but you get a lot more of them in Assistant. So let's look at them and see what we can do with them right here. Right, First up, we'll right-click on the context menu, same as we can in Essential, and we see them outlined here as well. Now, in Essential, you only have the main tool, the scroll tool, and the zoom tool. So if you are on the main tool, you use this for a lot of things you want to do. If you want to change pitch, you can hover around the center of a word. If you want to change the timing, you come towards either side. And if you want to alter the separation, you come up to the top of that right there. But now we can pick those tools specifically so we can change the blob from any portion of that blob right there, right? So let's say I've, I've got a word right here I want to change the pitch on or come to my pitch tool and I can nudge this up or down, right? But I can also still just double click on it to change the pitch. And here we see a very cool factor that comes up which is all of these yellow lines. These are also new inside uh, Melodyne Assistant as an upgrade from Essential which is called Transitions. And this allows us to change the speed with which we move from one phrase to the next. All right, so let's take a look at this right here. Just looking at this first vocal, when we listen to it, we get... I don't recall what we said. All right, so maybe I want to do a little bit of work on pitch on some of those. I can just double click those to bring those right to the center of the note where we want them. And we listen again, we get... I don't recall what we said. Okay, cool. Now, let me highlight all of these and show you why this matters, right? You see these transitions right here. I can make those transitions very sharp, and what you'll notice is a more punctuated move from note to note. I don't recall what we said. Those transitions are much faster. However, we can also take those transitions and smooth them out a little bit by selecting all of these if you hover right over the transition between two words, it forms a little X, and we can take those and make those very slow and long, and this will give us a much more relaxed sort of legato performance. Check it out. I don't recall what we said. Much smoother and, and more flowing and natural right there. Very, very useful for that. Okay, now I see another thing that I wanna change right here, which is this long word said. This word right here, it's very long and she holds that note the whole way. Maybe I want to change the melody of this a little bit, so I need to split this into a few different syllables. And if you right click on your context menu and go all the way to the end, we get our note separation tool. This is specifically designed for this. It allows us to cut these notes. So maybe what I will do there is separate it here and I'll give another one right here. And now I can come back over to my pitch tool and drag this note to here, and double click it, and drag this note down here, double click that, and now what we get is... Recall what we said, but I... Re okay. That's nice, we now have created some melodic movement where there wasn't any there before. And by continuing with our note separation tool, I could actually say, you know what, I want this last syllable to be a little bit longer and maybe this one to be a little bit shorter and change that and now what we get is what we said but nice. I okay now i've given some like i said before some melodic movement to this i've changed a very static note and changed the melody very very useful 
All right, now looking at this, I see a few other things that I wanna change right here, and some of this comes back to our pitch tool. You'll notice there's more than one pitch tool. We've also got modulation and drift, and I see where I wanna use drift right up here. On this word, remember, uh, let's give this a listen real quick. But I remember the spot. You can hear her swing up into remember. She swings up into the note and then down and then swings up again. And I wanna smooth that out a little bit, make it sound a little more purposeful. So I'm gonna select that note and using either Command or Shift, I can select that note as well. And using my pitch drift tool, which is this one right here, I'm just gonna pull that down. I'm gonna pull the drift of this way, way, way down. Drift is the slow change over time, slow ramping up into or out of a note. So now when we listen to it, what we get is. But I remember the spark. Remember it doesn't seem so bouncy and trying to find the pitch. It sounds very, very purposeful. I remember, she says it like she means it right there. And by smoothing out that drift, we, we created that vibe, that purpose that we want. And that's what we want with this kind of song. Now over here I see some vibrato, and this is a case where I will use pitch modulation. That's specifically what this tool is designed for, is that kind of vibrato. Let's listen to the end of that word. Remember the spark. I'm gonna accentuate that a little bit, right? Really bring that out a little bit. So I'll come to my modulation tool and just drag it up to make the vibrato a little more pronounced, and we get. Remember the spark. Nice, now it's got a little more waver right there at the end, just a little extra character at the end of that vocal that I really, really like. Okay, now as we were listening through that, I heard these first three words right here, but I remember. Let's listen to those again. But I remember. She drops way down in, in pitch right there. And because of that, not only does her pitch drop, but the character of that voice drops a little bit too. So this is where I use a, a secret weapon that I have sometimes, which is called Formant. The formant is the unpitched content of the voice, but what I can do in a situation like this is bring the formant up on those right there, and now when we listen, we get... But I remember the spark. It just sounds smoother. It doesn't sound like she's trying to dip down so hard right there. It just sounds like a smooth, consistent delivery of that vocal, and that's what I'm looking for right there. The formant also very, very useful for evening out tonalities, maybe you did part of a vocal in the morning and you've got that really dark, like deep morning voice and the other part of the vocal in the evening, Formant can help balance those out. Formant is good for separating background vocals that were done by the same singer to give the, uh, the uh, background voices a different character, make somebody sound younger or older. Really, really nice tool for shaping some of the character of a vocal. I like this one a lot. All right, now I see another change that I wanna make right here which is with this amplitude tool. I noticed a couple of these syllables are lower in volume than the others. So you can just right click and come to your amplitude tool. I can bring that one up in volume and I can come over here and maybe I think this one needs a little more. Same here and same here. And now what we're gonna get is much more just consistent volume across that whole phrase like so. But I remember the spark. Right. Now we've evened out some of the drift and the modulation. We've smoothed out some of the volume changes. This now sounds like a purposeful vocal. And speaking of purposeful, a lot of this comes down to kind of the, the emotional idea and, behind, and content behind this too. So when we get to the end of this phrase right here on the word spark, let's give this a listen. I remember the spark. I want a little delicacy with that one right there. So this is a trick that I like to do sometimes. We have two brand new tools that I wanna show you inside that are brand new. They're brand new to Melodyne 5, which first up is our fade tool. Now what I wanna do right here is draw in a fade right at the end of this word spark, and it's really right before the K. So I'm gonna draw in a fade right there, and then when we listen to it, you'll see. Remember the spark. I want her voice to die away before that K a little bit. It adds some, some delicacy to that. Now what I can do is come back to my amplitude tool and bring that K down in volume just a little bit and what we get is... Remember the spark. Very, like it just trails away in a really beautiful way there that I like. Now, we've also got this S right before there and I wanna tame this S a little bit which brings us to the other new tool 
our sibilant balance tool. Now, if you look at this right here, you, if you're new to Melodyne, you may not notice this, but if you're used to Melodyne, you'd be wondering what these vertical lines are right here. This is sibilant information. If you see an area that looks like there's no pitch line through it, but you see these vertical lines that's telling you it's sibilant, if you don't see those vertical lines, you can go into your note assignment mode, which is this wrench right here, and open up this info pane, and you'll see this sibilant handling. If this box is not checked, then this is not going to show us that sibilant information like that. So make sure that sibilant handling is checked, and then we can go back in, and you'll see this sibilant information highlighted right there. And with our sibilant balance tool, we can now control that sibilant information. This is different than the amplitude tool, and it's more powerful than a de -esser, right? A de -esser, which is just a frequency dependent compressor, is just gonna clamp down on a certain frequency range. But sometimes, what if that S was swallowed a little bit? No de -esser in the world is gonna solve that. So what this actually does is alters the balance between the pitch content and the sibilant content. So I could drag this S all the way down and leave the pitch content alone. And I'm gonna exaggerate this for effect. Totally gave her a list by getting rid of that. We could also undo that. We could also drag up on the sibilant information and get rid of the pitched information. Also exaggerated. What we really want to do though is I just want to drag the S down a little bit and it makes it really easy with the sibilant balance tool. I can come over here and just bring it down just a little bit until we get. Remember the spark. Nice, I might even bring it down just a little bit more from there. Remember the spark. Nice, I can dial in each one of those S's quickly and easily, much better than any automated DSer can. All right, cool. Lots of great tools. The next one I want to talk about is sometimes we want to alter the timing of a phrase a little bit, right? Like, let's see, maybe on this phrase right here, I think we want some of that. Let's hear it. Coming up on Memorial Day. Okay. Actually, I know exactly where I want to do this. I want on this phrase right here. Way after dark. Yeah, we hear that. Okay. So a couple things that I want to be able to change right here about timing is on this phrase dark. Now, if we look at this right here, I might want this beginning of this word right here. Maybe I want some of these words a little bit shorter or longer to change the actual phrasing of the timing, right? Let's listen to this again. On Memorial Day, on Memorial. Maybe I want this on a little bit longer, right? So I can come over here to my time tool and I can bring that out to right about there, and I can change this a little bit here as well, and now we get... Up on Memorial Day. I didn't like that so much, I might drag that back where it was originally, but I might change the timing of this one and make it a little bit shorter, and maybe change that uh, a little bit as well. We can totally change the way that these vocals were phrased. Up on Memorial Day. I like that, that's good, that gives me a different little lilt to it that I think is great. Now, on this word dark right here, let's give this a listen. Way after dark. Okay, so maybe I feel like she hit that the D on that dark a little bit hard right there. Here's a tool that we've got that's very useful, which is our attack speed tool. This one right here. And what this does is this controls how long any given phrase or blob takes to get to its peak amplitude. So in this case, she that hit that D pretty hard by using this attack speed tool, I can grab it and pull it down just a little bit, and we're gonna soften that word. Check it out. Way after dark. Right, just really controlling that, that delicacy, that performance, which I like in a nice way. Now I see a few other things I wanna change right here, right? Like this vibrato at the end, I want that to happen a little earlier, a little bit longer. So this is where we come to another nice tool, which is the time handle tool. So what you can do with the time handle tool is drop one in, like so, and then stretch and squeeze that to uh, the audio with that. But here's a problem. If I move this right here, I've now altered this right here, which I just spent some time getting where I want it. So I'm going to undo that move and show you how we can drop in a timing handle tool, and then I can drop in another timing handle tool right there. And now what I can do is stretch this vibrato out starting a little earlier 
and it will change this, but because we dropped in a timing handle here, it won't change that D before that. So now what we get is... Way after dark. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for on that vocal right there. So all these great tools to come in and change and shape and sculpt the vocal the way that you want. Assistant offers us a lot. Now there's another th couple things that Assistant offers us. One, which I want to talk about, is the inspector. And we see this right in here. And this is great because any note that you select, you can now look at in the inspector and we can see the pitch. We can see how far it is, how sharp or flat, the frequency, where the pitch modulation and pitch drift are on that particular phrase. They're both at 100% right where they started. We see the form, it changes none. There's no amplitude change. But even within the inspector, you can change this, right? I can make this louder or softer right inside the inspector right there. And then I can just double click on it and set it back to zero if I want it there. We can also use the note off feature to turn a specific note off. Uh, if you don't want to delete it, really great for, for breaths or little glottal stops noises that get made, perfect for that. And here we see we can adjust the attack speed and the sibilant balance. So this is just another way to fine tune and look at any individual blob, any individual note, and control all of these aspects with it. Now there's another thing that is in Assistant that is not fully all the way in Essential, which is our MIDI. And that is audio to MIDI, but that is a much longer thing and we're going to be covering that in another video. I hope you've enjoyed everything we've shown you with Melodyne Assistant today. Thanks for watching.